welcome uh, to a new uh, video. Uh, I got invited uh, to a photo fair uh, here in the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, that's uh, where I am uh, right now. So uh, uh, I'm in a hotel. Uh, tomorrow uh, is the fair. So I'm uh, just uh, yeah, uh, spending some time here looking around uh, this area. It's quite far from my house. It's about an hour drive. So it's an area I normally uh, would never visit. But uh, yeah, I thought uh, let's go out this evening and uh, kill some time. And see if we can uh, shoot some uh, nice images and uh, I was driving to a forest I noticed it on uh, Google Maps and I was driving towards it and then looked out of my window and as you can see I'm just right next to the right next to the road my car is just parked here and the camera is over here and when I uh, when I found this uh, gorgeous shot so let me show you what I'm uh, what I'm shooting right now so this is what I'm uh, trying to shoot I don't know what this uh, plant is called here I think it's a potato uh, what they are uh, making here but uh, you can see all those little white flowers in this uh, in this field and far away in the background there's a little forest and just before that forest is one single birch tree uh, in the field of white flowers and if you look at that with a big telephoto lens let me show you back here you can hopefully see what I'm trying to shoot here so in the foreground is all this white flowers then there's this one birch tree with its white trunk and then the, the forest in the background and just a couple of minutes ago this light just came across this field from where I was standing and it went straight further 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 towards the forest in the background but when it crossed this little birch tree I hit the shutter so I've got a picture where yeah, the whole of a big part of the foreground and this birch tree were in the sunlight and those forests in the background those trees were all in the shadow so this little tree just was separated from the background and it it just looked amazing so just a little shot i found next to the road and uh, yeah hopefully uh, this will turn out uh, nice but i think uh, i think it will it's very difficult to get the foreground into uh, uh, yeah, uh, get the foreground sharp as well. So that's uh, that's quite difficult about this shot. So I might end up with a foreground that's a little bit uh, unsharp, and then the picture gets sharper until you get to the end. But uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to take a, a couple of different ones. So uh, it's actually not uh, really much going on here. I'm at f14 to get as much uh, sharp from the foreground uh, as I can. And above that, there's some diffraction, and usually. Uh, the pictures get a little bit crunchy, so I, I don't often get above that. So it's ISO 200, 88 of a second. I'm on the tripod, five second timer. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this will turn out right. If it did, here's the shot. <laughs> So I drove a little bit uh, further and I'm now in the, the forest that I uh, yeah, intentionally uh, wanted to go. So uh, yeah, I've been here before, a couple of years ago. I think uh, my oldest son uh, was about two or two and a half when we, uh, we were here. So it's about one and a half, two years ago. And uh, yeah, it was midday when we, uh, there's a lot of mosquitoes here, get out of here. But uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, we were here in the middle of the day, but I just remembered this place as uh, yeah, it was really beautiful so it was pretty close to the hotel i'm staying in so about 15 minutes drive so this is where i uh, where i wanted to go so uh, yeah i'm gonna walk around here it's about i think half an hour before uh, sunset and uh, yeah hopefully i can find uh, something nice to shoot if these mosquitoes don't 
keep bothering me. So <laughs> let's see. So I made it uh, all the way up to this tower. I had to pay a one euro entry fee. <laughs> so <laughs> it was actually the uh, the only euro I had with me. So uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I have that. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful sight. I don't know if this is uh, much of a sunset location, but sometimes it is also nice to just enjoy nature, just hear those birds. And just a couple of minutes ago, there was a guy on a motorcycle just running around here, straight through a nature reserve. So I have no clue why you would do that. But uh, so the sun is now uh, getting behind a cloud. It's getting quite low, uh, actually. Let me show you on the other side. So uh, the sun is about here. So it's going to get underneath that cloud and hopefully uh, give some gorgeous light. But uh, yeah, I haven't really uh, <laughs> found a shot yet. I just noticed this. Uh, where is it? Uh, right over here. There's a little tree on, yeah, kind of sort of island. And uh, there was some light on it just a couple of minutes ago. That was uh, really pretty. But I just can't separate the, the top of this tree from the, the shoreline in the background. So that's uh, quite a shame because it was really a uh, really nice shot. So I'm actually uh, waiting until the sun is uh, getting back from those clouds and then yeah, just look for trees that are lit up and are separated from, from its background. And so there has, to be, uh, there has to be a shot up here, but it is quite difficult to uh, to find it, so let's see if we can uh, if we can find something here. And if not, then I just uh, enjoyed a really nice sunset. I just uh, realized that I forgot my tripod. I forgot the little tripod for the <laughs> for the Osmo. So they're all uh, back in the car and uh, I can't go and get them because <laughs> then the sun will be uh, will have set. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to put the camera on the railing here and try to make a shot. I just looked around with my phone. Sometimes that, uh, that works actually pretty nice to uh, to see if there are any compositions. So let me show you what I'm, uh, what I was doing. Because when I'm just looking with my naked eye, I just can't really see a composition. But yeah, when I look at it like this, it's actually really pretty. 
and especially when you walk around a bit and make those shorelines a little bit more like this. I hope you can see it on my phone. So that uh, that might be promising and if the sun comes from underneath this cloud with some, some rich uh, golden light in a minute and uh, maybe some light on those clouds in the background just just might end up like a really good shot so I'm just gonna get the wide angle lens on find a nice spot maybe I have to move a little bit down a little bit more to that side of the tower so uh, yeah let's just try and hopefully uh, this will turn out nice I think uh, there are some opportunities here I don't know if you can see the tower shaking on the, on the video material but this tower is going all the way to the left and the right you can feel the wind is picking up a little bit so hopefully it's not going to be too much because the water is still very smooth and that's actually what I'm uh, what I'm hoping for so that I can see those clouds in the reflection that would be a really nice thing so that's uh, that's what I'm uh, waiting for but it actually doesn't feel really comfortable up here it's quite a steady structure with all those metals and but uh, yeah I don't I'm not afraid of heights but uh, I'm not very keen on it either so uh, I ra would rather have this thing to be as steady as a rock I'm actually still waiting until the sun is uh, low enough to uh, to light up the sky a little bit and uh, yeah hopefully uh, my composition will turn out uh, to be quite nice here but uh, the only problem is that the tree I was hoping for is not in the in the sunlight anymore so uh, I was hoping on this this point where just a couple of trees would be in the light and the sky would be uh, having a beautiful glow but uh, yeah that's definitely not going to happen so uh, yeah, I was actually uh, standing up here enjoying the views and uh, then I found a shot that you probably 
won't expect from this channel. So uh, I've put on the ultra wide angle lens. So it's the 7 to, uh, to 14. And it's actually for a good reason. So I was walking around on this tower a little bit, looking on all the sides. And then uh, I heard some bicycle, uh, yeah, some bicycles <laughs> riding by. And uh, so what I did is I looked down the tower. So let me show you what I was looking at. So I was just standing up there and I wanted to see those bicy bicycles. So I looked down and I just looked into this. And with all that side light hitting all those those poles and stairs, it just created a really, <laughs> really nice image. So I just put on the, the ultra wide angle so you can see as much as yeah, as much from the spirals coming up uh, as you can. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. It's something really diff different. I wouldn't sh shoot this normally. And, but this is what you get when you're, uh, when you're waiting. Sometimes uh, waiting can be boring and then you go and find uh, stuff that you normally won't, uh, won't shoot anyway. But uh, yeah, I quite like this one. So uh, if this works out uh, good, then uh, here's the shot. So I'm actually uh, taking a shot here. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably not. So, uh, but I'm taking it anyway. And if, and if it's going to be something, I'm going to show you. But if, if you look behind me, I think it's too bright. So I might just show you uh, on the back of the camera here. I hope I can focus on this distance. And this is something I would normally never shoot. But. Yeah, the sun is just uh, setting down there. Oh, why don't you focus? Well, <laughs> that's not working. But I'll try to tell you what I'm shooting. So the sun is setting. Uh, the foreground is completely black because it's that, that's the forest here. But there's a beautiful cloud that's lit up on the other side. And you can see those white lines on the top of the cloud and actually the funny thing is that everything underneath this cloud is completely orange and everything above this cloud is completely blue so i'm actually having a shot with dark foreground orange cloud blue and i don't know i'm just shooting it straight into the, to the sun the sun is just uh, yeah right in the middle of the frame and i don't know if it's gonna work probably not but I just like I just like this this color, so uh, I'll show you what I was talking about uh, right now. And uh, yeah, I'm still waiting. I think uh, uh, this was it uh, for today. I just don't see uh, that this shot is going to happen. I'm just having a look. Even if this cloud is going to light up the way I, uh, I, I would hope it to light up, then this, this shot would still not be that good because all of this foreground would be dark. And I think I have one shot where just little trees are being light up, but the sky isn't that interesting. So actually, I would have needed a tripod up here. 
So I could take two shots, one that I took earlier, and then just leave the camera on that exact location and then wait until the sky is coloring up, take another picture and then blend those two pictures together. That would be the perfect, but I think everybody would see it's a composite. And I personally <laughs> don't really like that. So, uh, but it's, it is a promising location, but the sun is now setting over there. So the sunrise is going to be about, I think that side tomorrow. So I might, uh, I might come back here. I'm not sure yet. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. So maybe uh, <laughs> tomorrow evening I will uh, have another attempt and then start on the other side of this uh, nature reserve. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, see what tomorrow will bring. So for now, uh, I'm calling it a day. I'm going back to the back to the hotel. It's about uh, 10 o'clock in the evening now, so uh, it's a good time to go to sleep. So have a nice evening.